Hey everyone, welcome back. This is the last postcard in the floral postcard series and I'm so excited to share this with you. Thanks to everyone who joined this challenge and painted along with me. Uh, this was super fun and I hope you like this one too. So today we're painting the stargazer lilies. So for the colors we'll need uh, light pinks. I'm using a very light opera pink and uh, for the detailing on the petals you'll need a darker pink which is something like this a carmine or a quin rose would work just as well uh, you can also change the colors of this uh, floral for that matter if you want to go for any other color of the lily it's, it's perfectly fine and for the leaves i'm going to be using a couple of greens also i'll be using the same green at the center so a light green i'm using the serpentine genuine from daniel smith and a slightly darker one so i'm using a hookers green here so these are the colors that i'm going to be using now for the petals we will be um, trying it out in a way that we first paint the three petals uh, on the top and then paint the remaining petals at the bottom later on once this dries so this is going to be the shape that i'm going to follow so we'll start with the lighter pink and then just add the details using the darker pink so i'm using the same motion for all three petals now while it's still wet i'll add the details using the darker pink so we're going to draw the central vein something like this and then add a few dots using the same dark pink and we'll be working on a little bit more detail later on when the floral dries but for now just working wet on wet we're going to add these simple details just the first layer of details that is Also while the petals are still wet, we'll drop in some of that green at the center. So I'll use a very light kind of green. Uh, you can also go with a yellowish green for that matter. And we'll just let it blend in here. And then later on, once this dries, we'll paint the remaining petals. So that's how we're going to go about the floral. And for the background or the leaves, we'll just use some simple techniques to create the background and leaves and we'll just use these two greens. So let's get started with the floral. So I'll start with my first floral. Just the same motion and we paint three petals first. And we're going to do this for all the florals, the same technique. We paint the top three petals first, fill in a bit of detail wet on wet. And then we go on to paint the remaining petals and the details. On to our next floral using the same techniques. Now this is a slightly longer video as compared to the other postcards in the series but I wanted to keep this one for the last because uh, by this time we have tried out so many different techniques and color palettes that I thought we'd be comfortable trying out something a little more detailed.
and now we let this layer dry completely. Now that my paper is dry, we start with the next uh, level of petals. Now in this case, it's going to be slightly darker because these petals are kind of below the top level of petals. So we are trying to create that effect, that effect of depth by using a darker color. So you can either use a pigmented opera rose or whichever pink that you have used for the top layer or you could add the darker pink, just a hint to your lighter pink and create a shade that's in between so i'm just using opera pink mixed with a little bit of carmine to get this kind of color and remember that this is going to dry much lighter so it's not going to look as dark as it does right now the first layer has already dried so it looks much much lighter And for the details of this uh, layer as well, we will use the same technique. We'll use a darker pink to fill in the central vein and all those little dots as details. On to our next flower, same pattern, same technique. We tried a darker pink for the lower level of petals and just try to blend them in with the top layer. And we let this dry. Okay, now my paper is dried, and you can see that the even the petals at the bottom dried much much lighter. So now I'm just taking the lighter green that I have, the serpentine genuine, and trying to create a nice fun background. I haven't wet the paper, I'm just adding the uh, color directly. It's not that pigmented. Now dropping in a little bit of darker green uh, close to the petals. is just a technique to create a bit of drama we're going to add a lot of uh, leaves later on but for now I'm just uh, trying to create some variation in the background by adding this darker color close to the petals
and we let this layer dry. Okay, once the paper is dry, we start working wet on dry in the background. So I'm adding a few buds and leaves here and there. Now for the leaves, I am still using the lighter green for this particular layer. After this, we will be adding another layer of leaves uh, behind this. So we will be going with the darker green or the hookers green that I have. So this layer is still going to be slightly lighter than the one that is going to come up after this. So use the lighter green for this particular layer. Adding a little bit of dark green here and there for some texture. After this, we let the paper dry again. I know there's a lot of waiting involved in this postcard. Now that my paper is dried, I'll start with the background layer. Now in this case, uh, since the leaves are further behind this particular first layer of leaves that we did, they're going to be darker as well. So I'm using the hookers green for this particular layer.
and we'll now start with the details on the floral so i'm taking the darker pink that i have and adding all the details so we'll just uh, follow the same vein that we did and then add a few more dots but with a much darker pink so last time when we did this it was wet on wet so you can see that all those dots they have kind of blended in this time since it is wet on dry we will have a much clearer kind of dot We do the same for all the remaining florals. Now we'll try to add some depth and contrast to this. How you can do this is by adding a little bit of darker pink towards these areas where the florals join. If you get any hard edges, just use a clean brush and blend them together. On to the central part. Now this time I'm using the same light green that we had but uh, a little pigmented version. Adding those fun little cute tips. Now I'm adding some highlights using a white gel pen. Uh, this is uh, something which you can skip if you are really happy with the way your floral has shaped out so far. I just thought that this particular portion could do with some highlights. So I'm adding that with the white gel pen. But uh, feel free to skip this step if you don't have a white gel pen or you don't feel like adding the highlights.
and for one last round I'm just darkening the greens a bit the ones in the background and then we are done So I hope you enjoyed the postcard and thank you once again for joining me in this series and painting along with me. I hope to continue this. I hope to at least create some fun tutorials every week. Uh, may not be all florals but something nice uh, on watercolors and gouache. So I really hope to get on track for that. But for now I hope you enjoy this and try this out. Thanks once again. Bye bye.